All right, guys, welcome out to the channel today. As you can see, we have a couple things going on. And uh, first thing we're gonna be starting with is trying to see if we can get this uh, flathead to turn. We uh, picked this up the other day, uh, mainly for the transmission right here. It's a good transmission. Everything shifts on it as it should. Uh, but we need to see if this motor is locked up or not. And uh, we've been putting a little bit of oil in it, right? Yeah. Some uh, Marvel Mystery Oil. We've put some in all the spark plug holes. And uh, he's gonna put some more in there. You can go ahead and put more in there. Okay. And uh, we got a wrench on here and we're just gonna be trying to uh, spin this and see if we can get this broke free Why loosened up so we can uh, get it going Why does this oil even go do what Why does this even go it goes on top of all the pistons and everything and it soaks down into the engine hopefully i do it uh, no, come on you gotta push and put some effort into it yeah let's see what we got here How do you do it so good? Oh. This thing doesn't bend, and I might need to do it. Hey, one more. It seems like it wants to, but it's not. Well, that's the main. Wait, why is that thing in the bed? This is just one of the nuts right here. Oh. I'm gonna probably get this pulley off. Let's see what's... Boy, I hold up that in cool, boys. I hold up that in cool, daddy. Boys. Yeah, pulley. Yeah. Is that thing popping in? I got a bit more. Oh, what that was. Alright, so we uh, ended up getting the trailer backed out into our backyard and this time I was able to get the ramp all the way up to the door so we got to figure out how to try to drag it off now. I think this time we're going to be able to just drag it because it is on that pallet. The last one was not and we just kind of pulled it on its oil pan which was a pain in the butt. So I think we're going to be able to wiggle this one side to side and uh, get it. It does move fairly easy. Getting it up over to crack might be some trouble. Well, we're almost there. Definitely a lot easier than uh, the other one. We're gonna get this put in here and then we'll look at it a little bit more. All right, so we got a new plan. We got these dollies that I've had for a while. We're gonna try to set it up because the pallet has completely been trashed. The motor broke right through all the pieces of wood. So there's these things that are supposed to be 1,000 pound capacity and uh, we're gonna test their limits. I have two of them. Hopefully, I'll be able to spread the load somewhat and uh, maybe get it in there. So I think we're gonna remove that pallet first and then uh, try to put one on the back side. If I pull up on that, you think you can rip that thing out? Sure. All right. So I think the next thing we need to do is get one of these up underneath the front of the... What if I just like... I doubt you can get that. No, like if I like like stand on it. No. What if I stand no. on it? No. Well then it would definitely <coughs> Are you bleeding? 
I don't know. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so can you come over and try to push this underneath? Yeah. Yes. Yay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So now we should be able to pull the other side. Hold on. I can kind of lift this and push this into the shop. Oh, good idea. Oh, oh, that break. That sounds like it's going to break. Because all the wheels are tilted. because of the wheels. Oh, it's in that crack. Sorry. Uh, okay, so. That's crushing the front of the shop. You need a bigger. Oh. Right, where's that other one at? Over here. Put it underneath the transmission. Turn it around. Yeah, make sure there's no strap underneath that. There you go. Oh, not too far. Pull oh, back on some. Back. There you go. Oh, why does it keep doing it? Can we push it around now? Yay! Yeah. Oh, it's about to fall off. Pull it Maybe again. pull it, turn it around sideways. Alright guys, so I got the motor in here with the help of my daughter. We uh, had to but the pallets or the uh, dollies together put one of them underneath the main lowest part of the oil pan and then blocked up the front now it is sliding around like i want it to and i have some uh two by two metal that i might try to make a frame out of so that we can just keep this sitting about this height maybe a little bit higher and uh make it like its own little engine stand so might work on that see what happens but it's in the shop so now uh now we can play around with it a little bit more out of the sun try to get the uh head bolts or the uh, valve cover bolts off who knows so i'm here working on trying to get the valve covers loosened up and taken off that way i can get to the pistons and the valves and put some kind of uh mystery oil or something like that on them i already dumped a couple or some squirts up in the spark plug area just to kind of uh, get it pre going i guess and all the bolts all over the engine have already been sprayed with pb blast uh last night whenever we got it home and uh so it's been sitting with some stuff on there so it's not it's not too bad breaking these loose uh so far i've seen one broken bolt right here or the uh, nut right here but uh, so far it hasn't been bad at all. slowly working itself loose the top is fairly free I don't see anything on the bottom that's holding it That right there does not look very good. <laughs> not much on that one. And 
there's sludge in that one. So that'll be fun to uh, turn around and uh, hopefully when it turns over to see all that crap pour out. What about this one? Oh yeah. Little rat's nest, maybe. All right, well, I went ahead and got this other valve cover off and these are not filled up. This is all the marble mystery oil that's been sitting in here. Uh, that one's got a little bit of crud on top, but nowhere near like the other side. Uh, just some random stuff on this side. Like bees nests, stuff like that. So I think what we need to turn our attention to is going to be these pistons over here especially this one right here and try to figure out if we can get this one broke free and then I want to go ahead and get all the liquid out of these because they have junk in them too get these cleaned up and uh, try to roll it over and maybe it'll come free all right guys so we uh have been working on trying mm -hmm. to clean these up some yep. this one is still a little bit dirty right here around the edges uh and the top of the uh, piston has some crud on it uh i put miracle or the uh, marble mystery oil in these cylinders now uh got them pretty cleaned up and uh that was all the junk that was just sitting in there Jeez, not sure if uh it was like just rain sludge water or that's a lot or oil uh the only one that i really saw any rust on was this one which uh i believe is the number two piston if i can remember correctly or maybe that's the number three that might be the that's the number six i think okay. it's either number six or number two uh -huh. uh, i can't remember off the top of my head yeah but uh yeah, so we're, we're gonna keep on trying. Mm -hmm. uh, might not get this rotated around in this video, but uh, this is what we're working on. Mm -hmm. So we got this and uh, just trying to get this thing to turn over. Yeah, I want to go ahead and look down inside this intake. And so I'm gonna be popping that off now. Uh, it's got all these bolts that go all the way around. I've already broken all of them free and uh, we're going to pop them all out and then put some oil and stuff in there as well. That's actually cleaner than the other engine. So this, like I was saying, is actually cleaner than the other flathead. You guys can see in there, the other one was built up with all sorts of sludge. And I think that this may be the oil pump drive. I'm not 100% sure. I know what it, they are on the other on the other flathead, but I can't remember what it is on this one. Do I have it in the back? No, see the back side does not have that on the back of it. So, but I got the inside of this other one all cleaned up. Really nice. This one's not gonna need any major cleaning. So I've had the uh, mystery oil sitting in the cylinders for a couple days now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to see if it will spin over. And if it doesn't yet, we're gonna go ahead and try to pop the pistons on the top of them and see if we can get anything to uh, break free, any kind of rust or anything like that. So it's still not uh, doing anything. So I've got this board. Um, this has been cut to fit inside the cylinder. We're just gonna give it a nice little whack on each piston. All 
actually breaking the board apart. Loosens up that front bolt. We also got to make sure that none of the valves are stuck and that could be the reason why. I don't think they are. I did spray stuff on those as well. So that's not moving either. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, start checking the valves and just kind of trying to pry on them and see if they will all move up. Like, see that one's up. We got to see if they will all move. And uh, once they do, we know that the valves are all free. And I don't think... It would be those, the lifters, but uh, who knows. So we're going to keep on plugging away at this, trying to get this thing freed up. So I've been trying to work on the valves, getting them freed up, and I think I have a couple of these valves that are stuck, pretty much solid. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing is I went on a Google search and found out that I can mix uh, acetone and transmission fluid 50-50. And what I'm going to do is put the heads back on it, leave the um, intake off of it, and I'm just going to pour and fill up the entire top cavity of the engine. And that is supposed to help um, eat away any kind of rust that's in there. And so we're going to go ahead and give that a try. So uh, what I have is the acetone right here. And then I have two bottles of uh, transmission fluid, which is about 50-50, I think. If not, I'll be able to get some more. Um, and then this is supposed to go ahead and eat away at the rust. So what I'm going to do right now is put the uh, cylinder heads back on, not to work them, but just tighten them, and uh, we'll start filling it up. I don't even know how many actual nuts I need to put back on here, but uh, we're just going to put some of them on. I'm sure the bottom has to be sealed up well or else it'll start draining out. I think I only have a couple of that. I guess I don't have to put anything in the middle because it's okay if it goes and uh, transfers from one cylinder to the other. And there's a ton of nuts on these things. But I'm pretty sure I have some stuck valves and that's what's possibly what I'm hoping is causing it not to rotate just the half and half of the acetone and the automatic transmission fluid i'm using this bottle and uh just i'm using it because i can squirt it right into the spark plug hole and it's probably the easiest way to do it without uh, having to worry about spilling it and i'm just going to fill it up until it starts running out of somewhere So I've gotten all the mixture put in on the flathead, uh, filled up the spark plug holes and also the intake holes and everything like that, sprayed it on all the valves and uh, now it's just going to be a waiting game. I went ahead and unmounted the starter as well and I'll be trying to take off the transmission, trying to reduce the amount of uh, pieces on the engine that would possibly be affecting it from turning 
and also I'll be able to look inside the bell housing maybe re uh, remove the the clutch and the flywheel stuff so that I can pull those off and get them out of the way get them to uh, reduce the amount of things that I've got to try to turn but I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be the valves that are sticking and I mean obviously the pistons as well so we're gonna try not tearing this down uh, but hopefully trying just to get this going like this and uh, we'll see what happens but uh, for the next couple weeks I'm gonna be coming out here daily and just trying to push on it trying to get it to rotate over and uh, hopefully one day this will break free uh, so that's all I got for you guys today on this flathead we will be giving you guys updates along the way just every now and then um, especially if I get this unstuck so if you guys are interested in all the car stuff you guys can go ahead and check out that playlist I uh, got a couple different things on there thanks guys for watching if you guys are new hit that subscribe button thanks for watching I'll see you guys on the next video